that we can stand unaided. We're not hooked up to a machine to stay alive. We can see, we can hear, we can smell, we can talk, we can feel pain, we can laugh, we can cry. These are little things we tend to take for granted. But if not for God, that we, we're seeing ourselves again today, if not for God. And so, Father, we thank you. For the peace round about us, we say thank you. For the joy in our hearts, we say thank you. For your faithfulness, your mercies, your loving kindness to us as individuals, as families, as a church, as a nation, we say thank you. Regardless of all the pressures here and there, we can still find a reason to say thank you. Father, we say thank you. For loving us recklessly, we say thank you. For our salvation, we say thank you. We say thank you. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. God Almighty, who reigns forevermore. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord, God Almighty, who reigns forevermore. Father in heaven, how we love you. We lift your name in all the earth. May your kingdom be established in our praises. As your people we declare your mighty works. Blessed be the Lord Almighty, who was and is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who reigns forevermore, who reigns, who reigns forevermore. you reign forevermore. There is none like you. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Ancient of Days. You are a bridge over troubled waters. You are a present help in times of trouble. Father, 
hallowed be your name. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow down before you. Receive our praise this morning. Receive our worship this morning. Father, our hearts are filled with gratitude this morning. We say thank you. Receive our hearts and receive our praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Please pray for your neighbor. You don't need to know what it is. Just commit them to the hands of the Lord this morning. That as they're here before you this day, Father, do unto them. Or do unto him or her as it proposed. Please pray in the name of Jesus. You don't need to know what it is, but God knows. Pray for the brother, pray for your sister. That God will come through for them this day as he has proposed in the name of Jesus. That nothing shall hinder. Nothing shall delay, nothing shall stop what God has in store for your brother, your sister this day. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they will not by themselves hinder that which God has for them. Father, I pray for my brothers, I pray for my sisters that this day, Lord, that all that you have in store for them will not elude them in the name of Jesus. And I pray that with their own hands and their own actions will not hinder that which you're bringing their way today in the name of Jesus. There's a portion of blessings allotted for each of us today. Father, all that you have for us will not elude us. And Rima Shandeka Hideboshanda, because you said in your word that you load us daily with benefits. Rebo Shandeka Hideboshanda, the benefits of today will not bypass me in the name of Jesus. Rima Shandeka Hideboshandeka Hideboshanda. And with my own hands, I not hinder. And with my own hands, I not hinder the favor you're bringing my way today. I know not the blessings you're bringing my way today. Kahele boshande, kahele boshanda. Le baba koli boshi kari, kahele boshanda. Le baba koro boshande, kahele boshanda. Ribra kahele boshande, kahele brele bo boshagere kari bra kahala boshanda kaya. In the name of Jesus. Now please pray for yourself. What are your expectations this morning? You're here before your father. What are your expectations? What are your desires? What are your burdens? Talk to your father this morning. The Bible says when we call unto him, he hears us. When we cry unto him, he answers us. We come in faith. We come in faith. We come in faith. We're not flaunting our righteousness, but now we come in faith. We come boldly that we may obtain mercy and find grace for help in this time of need. Father, we come in faith. We come in faith. As a people, we come in faith. As families, we come in faith. As a church, we come in faith. Thank you for hearing us, Father. Thank you for answering us. In Jesus' name. And Father, we commit ourselves into your able hands once again this morning. Do unto us as you proposed. 
as this service is in heaven, let it be here on earth in the name of Jesus. I will declare that all the glory, all the honor and adoration be yours and yours alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you're here with a shower, with a, a testimony, you want to share with God's people, there'll be a pastor waiting to attend to you at the entrance lobby. Enjoy the service and God bless. Hallelujah. Let's just begin to worship him this morning. He is worthy. He is awesome. He is the glorious God. He is faithful. He is the reason that we are here today. Let's just lift our hands. Let's just lift our hands to him and give him all the glory and give him all the praise as we worship him this morning. Our God has already done great things. Let's just worship.
Our God is good. I'm always happy to be in the presence of the Almighty God. Because here, we receive that which no man can give. I want you to appreciate the Almighty Father. There is none like our God. There is none that can be compared to Him. Oh, my son, I want you to appreciate this God for being here this morning. Appreciate Him for who He is in your life. Appreciate Him for your family. Appreciate Him for your children. Appreciate Him for the works of your hands. Appreciate Him that you can speak this morning. Appreciate Him. Oh, my Savior, for your finances. Appreciate Him. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be blessed. He is worthy to be exalted. Oh, Father God, we just thank you. We thank you for life. We thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Almighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. It's time for our testimonies. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. Ah. <sighs> Our God is good. This morning we just have two testifiers. And I know we're going to be blessed this morning. Hmm. You know this morning, do you know the, 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 um, the worship song I, I, I came up with? Because every morning there's something that God releases to me. And honestly that song, I can't even imagine how it came up. Because it's a long time song. Jesus, ja, sheke, sheke, mi, oku, o, so, mi, da, la, ye, e, je, re, i, ye, bi, ye, lo, fi, ra, mi, Imagine that song. Where did it come from? It can only be God. I had to be pondering on the song. And it was so weighty. It is so weighty that if not for him, oh, if not for God, you can't be here today. So what is that thing that is depressing you? Tell me. What is that thing that is too much for God to do? Nothing is too much for him to do. He has destroyed all the plans of the enemy over your life. That's why you're here this morning. Praise the Lord. I'm going to call two testifiers. The first person I'm calling this morning is Sister Shem. Can you please come forward? Please encourage her. Sister Shem. God bless you, Sister Shem. Ma senderika senderia. God is good. Our God is good. Yeah. Good morning, church. Um, I'm here to just appreciate God for his awesomeness and his consistency in my life. I started a job in January this year, and part of my KPIs was I was supposed to plan a conference. Now, for the first time ever, a lot of things changed. Firstly, they said they were not funding the conference this year. Secondly, they said the conference was going to be a two-day conference. In terms of the budget, the conference cost about 16 million. So what that meant was I had to look for those funds. There was a lot of pressure. I remember even Target in terms of the people that they wanted. They said they wanted 700 people in person. I'm not an event planner. I had no experience whatsoever in terms of this. So there was a lot of pressure. And on one of those days where I felt so overwhelmed, I just remembered Pastor Taiwo in one of his messages where he said that you don't fight feelings and thoughts with feelings and thoughts, that you fight it with the word. And I remember during that period, I was confessing Isaiah 60, and there was a particular verse that spoke, um, spoke to me, which was Isaiah 60, 16, you know, where it says that kings will ask you what you need, and they will give you everything you need. So at every point where I felt overwhelmed, I just used to confess that. I am just here to give glory to God. 
that the event was so successful, panelists were calling me and telling me that it was so well organized, it was so well coordinated, people donated things. People were calling me and saying, Sean, what do you need? Someone said, I will buy a table. I was able to raise about 8.4 million. And my organization that said, look, we are not funding this thing, they said, don't worry about the rest, Sean, we'll sort it. So I'm here to say thank Praise you to the Jesus. Lord. For he is ever faithful. I know that your word says that when we look unto him, we will never see shame. And I just want to encourage someone, if you think that that situation is going to overwhelm you, it won't because you have God on your side. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Is there anything too difficult for my father to do? There is nothing, nothing whatsoever. From zero to eight point something million, it can only be God. So let us just fix our focus on God and on, not on any man. In Jesus' name. The next person I'm calling is, hmm, praise the Lord. Chidimara. Ah, wait, oh, before I. Chinemerem. Hmm, praise God. Chinemerem. Sister Chinemerem, where are you? Chinemerem. Mm -hmm. I got it. Praise God. Our God is good. Good morning, church. Okay, my testimony has to do with last week's um, showers. I, I think the other week, Pastor said that um, Bob Fist was going to come. And then all of a sudden, I, I think the devil just wanted to afflict me with depression. That last week, I couldn't come. But I listened to the Spirit of God. He said, tune in to showers. So I tuned in. And while he was ministering, he kept singing this song, he will come true for you. He will come and save you. And then along the line, he paused. He said, There's, there are some people that might be saying, even as we are singing, he will come and save you, he will come and save you, that you don't still have a testimony, that they've all been there, but that you should be encouraged, that God will definitely come true for you. And he shared a story. And I keyed into that. At that instance, the spirit of depression just left me. Amen. So I just want to give God all the glory and per adventure you are here and you're feeling like God has forsaken you and has not come true for you. Just hold on and keep praising him. There's nothing praise cannot do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The spirit of depression was destroyed. Do you know some people hung themselves because of that? When they're depressed, but God was there for her. So in time of trouble, what do you listen to? Who do you listen to? And how do you react to the word of God? The reality is when we use our faith to live our life. But when we depend on ourselves and believe that we know it or this is the way it's been done, it doesn't really work. But when we put God as our focus, things turn around. Praise the Lord. So let's appreciate God for those testifiers. Our God is good. There's going to be more testimonies in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Today we'll receive our own testimony in the name of Jesus. Even if you have already received your testimony because being here this morning is because God loves you. So there is nothing impossible for our God to do. So while we listen to the instrumentalists give us a special number, we can put our um, uh, offerings together to tell the Almighty Father we love you so much. Even though we want to give the whole world, but Lord, this is what we have, and it's going to be a blessing. God bless you all. Thank you.
Hallelujah. Jesus is. Thank you, you got it. And you said it, only one lady said it confidently from here. Jesus is. If you don't think of, you don't think of anything, you hear Jesus, the first is, is Lord. Hallelujah. Let the devil sum us all ten times. Come on, give him a big shout of hallelujah. Come on, I know the shout of hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. You were about to blow off the roof this morning. Ah, yeah, yeah. Jesus is Lord. Somebody still feel like dancing. Yeah. You know, a whole service can be a dancing service. Sometimes a whole service can be a shouting service. Oh, yeah, but that's the truth. And sometimes it can be just a clapping service. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God in the highest. As long as, you know, you, you feel the, the push from inside, let it go. You'll be amazed. I think the problem with us is that we think too much in his presence. The Holy Ghost takes control. And then you're like, no, let it go. What if it's not falling out well and people are not taking it well? So who will tell you? But things of the spirit, can you feel him? Hallelujah. Can you feel him coming now? Can you just feel him coming? That's the way of the spirit. Just let go and let him. And one thing you must always remember is that when we are gathered together, we are gathering together on two. Hallelujah. And there's no way you can come into his presence and you won't go back with something. He will touch you. You know, when we talk of the anointing, I mean, literally, like we are smearing with oil. Divine oil. So when you are coming, oh, he will smear you all over. He will push from the inside, feed you from the inside and when you are going back, you will know that you know that you know that something has shifted. Amaka, dear neighbor, Holy Spirit. That's it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You can't come in without expecting something. You see what I mean? So in other words, we can rightly say that any time we got, like he said it, remember he said it, he said, we are two or three of you are gathered, except you are not gathering his name. But tell me, when we gather, how do we gather? We gather unto anything, unto anyone. Shout it, let them hear now, unto who? Unto Jesus. And if that be the case, and I know, and he knows, and she knows, and she knows, and she knows. Ah. Uh -huh. And you come knowing that we are gathering unto him and that he's here. <laughs> Something. I feel like we should dance. Woohoo. <laughs> That like I say, ah, how come he didn't call me? Eh, eh, take your own now. <laughs> I mean, see, you see, 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 see. This thing is not just for one person, no, it's for all. And it's today. And you say, ah, she, have she has taken it all. She can't take it all. If you say, God, give me my own, you will flow. And somebody else that will still watch it on the social media will see take. Come on, receive in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God in the highest. See, the whole idea is to come expecting. We give him praise. Somebody wants to celebrate today. Somebody say, I see people celebrate. When is my turn? Who is stopping you? The just shall live back. I like that lady's testimony. She was so confident. When they say show, I say, okay, could this be another tall show? Then I saw the average show. I've seen the very tall show. I've seen the very short show. 
and I've seen the average show. But this average show came in the testimony. Her testimony was well put together. I mean, she came and she hit it. Bam, 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 bam. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus is Lord. You don't fight thoughts with thoughts. You fight thoughts with word. Which was the word of God. Ma, shaka. I was confessing Isaiah chapter 60. Hey, 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 hey. And suddenly things. She got things moving when there was nothing. Somebody's testimony has changed. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I feel the fire now. I feel the fire now. <laughs> glory, glory. Let me call that lady there. Let her come. Yes, 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 yes. As I was saying that, she started raising her faith. I just saw she. So God has answered you. Ooh. Help me stand there. She just like. I will go say, can you see that? As I was saying that, she wasn't looking anymore. She was like. He said, now she's, she's doing what you're saying. And watch. Just lift up your two hands. Tell her, lift up your two hands. And receive. In the name of Jesus. Because it's not by power, it's not by might, it's by the Spirit. So it's the Holy Spirit. Aha, hallelujah. To overflow. To overflow. To overflow. At this point, hear me. Whatever the devil has been telling you lies about, just with your two hands, say, I break it in the name of Jesus. You, yes, 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 yes. Open your mouth, say it again, say, you are a liar. I break it in the name of Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. I want those singers back. Oh, yes. I like, Mark Ashaba, I like your confidence, man. Mark, I love it. And I saw you are putting everything out until your voice even disappeared. <laughs> That's all right. Mark Ashaba, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I think it's celebration time. Somebody said, but when is my celebration? I say, yours is starting today. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, tell her that's okay. She comes, she's come back with testimony. Let her go sit down. Hallelujah.
Et mi long tempe Et mi man long lope Hey Et mi long lope Et mi man long lope Hey Hey wè wò re baba Hey Hey wè wò che baba Aye mi Hey mi man long Che wò long lope Et mi long I feel the fire. I sense his presence. I sense the devil disappointed. Angrier than ever. I sense the Lord just tapping his finger there and just mm -mm. come on. What you just raise your hand and just give him praise. I mean he's looking down and he's smiling on the man. Is it nothing pleases God like when a child of God knows his authority? True. 
I feel the fire again. I like the way you dance. I think what we're singing, the, the next time we start dancing, we will give you, allow you to just spin around. Right? And I'll bring Alabama to come and spin around you. Oh, I feel the fire again. Ah, Alabama, I said, I said, Alabama. I said, Alabama, come. As I said, I just, I just went, <laughs> Alabama, yamba. <clears throat> Glory be to God in the highest. Yes. I just felt, I said, yeah, yeah. See, 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 see. God is, Malakash. Oh, no. I'm restraining myself. I, I decided I won't be walking too much into the crowd. But you see, you can't be surrounded with such glory. I feel the fire again. And you go back the same, be raw. See, what we need to learn to do is to learn to release our faith. There's nothing wrong with the giving end. It's the receiving end. That's not to put you under pressure or put me under pressure. But that's not to say that there is more. And you are qualified for the more. You want to come? Yeah, yeah. Woof. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Just receive in the name of Jesus. Lift your two hands. I know. Yeah, receive. And don't, 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 don't limit God. Release anything and everything. And come back next week. <laughs> With testimonies in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Pastor Femi, help me lay hands on her. Lay hands. Lay hands on her. Now, that's a point of contact. Receive. Yes. <laughs> Glory be to God in the eyes. We give him praise. 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 Ah, I think she's the one that does cakes, Abby. Oh, she's not. Ah, no, she looks like she, she looks like her. Eh? Ah, okay. So you start to do your own special cake. That may be metaphorical, though. I don't know what that means. Or anything it means to you. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. So we're going to dance again. I'm not going to tell you what to play. Just, just, they want the Holy Ghost. You make all of it. Eh, hallelujah. I remember some people are coming to dance. Glory be. Maybe I should let them come here to dance. Yes. Okay. If you know that that space is not enough for you, get on the eye. If you think the eye is too poor for you, run around the hall. But just make sure that you are hearing from him.
too high, so I give him praise. Give him honor. Come on, give a big shout. 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 Shout of joy. Shout of victory. Shout. 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 Waka. We give him praise. We give him honor. Glory. I learned um, today is your birthday. I didn't know. But when you got there, you were a little shy. See the way you used to say, I used to say, this guy is interesting, man. They're singing. Goes, and he comes forward. I say, hey. And of course, ha. Ah, where is he now? I saw the Holy Ghost knock him over. Glory. When he comes, he goes. When you see, when you are totally delivered from what men will say in his presence, you can get anything. We are naturally too conscious of. So in other words, we are in his presence and we are performing. Perform for who? If you are not a dancer and the, the beat is going Greek, you are a dancer. I am trying to Have you seen any people dance before? You begin to beat your this thing and everybody's coming and the man looks at you just like this. Move something. So the Holy Ghost can help you move it completely. Somebody shout hallelujah. Just lift your hand and give him praise. Yeah, yeah. 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 A worship song. That song, um, This is my worship. Say you know. 
give him praise and I will not be Thank you very much. God bless you all. I appreciate it. Thank you. God. Yes, I will only take two testimonies. So you heard me well. So don't come after two people are standing. I will only take two testimonies and two, two minutes too. Okay. That's one. You sure you have a testimony? A big one. Big one. Serious one. Uh, we'll hear you out. By God's grace. Come. In that way, let the rest be seated. I don't think I'll disqualify any of these two. I think they'll do it. But if not, no, so just mark him. All right. Madam. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, Good Church. Good morning. I want to thank the Lord Almighty for this day. I want to bless the name of the Lord for adding another year to my life. I want to bless this name. He has been so faithful. In fact, if I said I should start talking, we won't leave this place today. That's why I just have to dance in the presence of God. Mm. And also when the pastor Lana came out, that she remembered one of those songs. Pastor, I myself, God gave me one of those songs today. Now, Dansa ki re, oh, yeah. dansa ki re, baba. Mm, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, thank you for that. Well, nice it. Thank wait, you. wait, 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 wait. Let's sing it. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for what you've done in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are. Hallelujah. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Amen. I like the way you dance to that song, sister. Oh, buddy. Amazing. Say, I'm a knowledge. Let me sing it. Let me show you. She was standing there, ushering.
Somebody's testimony <laughs> will blow roofs. In the name of Jesus. I heard it. I heard it clearly. And isn't it amazing that it's those that you think have been battered that are celebrating him much more. Honest. It's amazing, isn't it? Yes. Two minutes. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This, I'm giving this testimony to the glory of God. I've been looking for a baby boy that will represent my family in England for my granddad's um, award, whatever, because my granddad happens to be the first black man to be a judge in the United Kingdom, Tunji Shuande. Mm -hmm. So, pastor keeps telling us during that time that we should speak the word. So my wife got pregnant and I started speaking the word that this baby inside of you will do, make exploits, will do great things, will be great. We went for medical, everything, got settled, everything. But when it came to the time of delivery, just two weeks to the delivery, my wife is supposed to be admitted in the hospital, but she refused. They said the baby wasn't well positioned, that she has to go through CS that um, we have to pay 150,000 naira. I just laughed. I said, don't worry, that is no problem. That um, since I have my lawyer and I have my younger sister, with the little I have, we we'll settle everything. But on June 12, my wife just called me. She spread that prank on me like twice. She said, hey, the baby's coming. I'll be fair, afraid. But this day, she was serious. I didn't take her serious. She said, ah, I did. Are you meditating, Bob? I said, ah, uh -uh. and let's go to the clinic now. So as I rushed opposite my house to call um, one Uber driver, then one taxi, one of my tenants that is a taxi, um, taxi driver was standby to carry us. As she was going down the stairs, water just, ah, move I said, ah, I'm going to go to He said, ah, I did, the baby's coming out. Ah, I did, the baby's head is out. As I bent down, I saw my baby coming. What I did was I just supported the baby's head with my hands. I was the one that delivered. I did a doctor's work. I delivered my baby right in my hand. But when the, 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 the place I had the problem was how to divide the mother and the baby. I now had to shout for help. So some ladies now, women now came over. Luckily for me, there was a matron that does not stay in my compound that was inside my compound that day. They said they went for night vigil and she could not go to her house that day. I didn't know God positioned that one for me. So it was the matron that divided the baby and, and the mother. I give all glory. Hallelujah. This is a, don't go yet, don't go yet. This is a good testimony. This one gives all the glory to God and this one is blessing everybody. Why don't you stretch your hands towards him and pray for him? A scripture came to mind as he was speaking. I mean, Sumbo, right? If you know Sumbo, if you know where he's coming from, you will bow down in worship. And look at him. Very articulate. Very together. When he said, my wife, I said, ah. And by the time he continues, I'm like, wow. Just to, and the scripture, the Lord himself will perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus you will find unusual rhythm of life in your future as you go on in the name of Jesus the kind of structure that only God can put in a man's life you will find it receive grace in the name of Jesus it is well with you hallelujah amen Hallelujah. That was a good one. I was a little I said, hey. Then I heard God clearly said, you better listen to that testimony. I said, come. And I'm glad I did. I want to share something brief with us. It's our prayer week. And um, usually I like us to pray. And uh, you say, but we have been dancing now. But that's part of it. If you know the level of deliverance that has taken place here this morning, 
corporately and individually. <laughs> yeah, you say, let's continue. And I'm grateful to God that we had this instruction and we were able to follow. Um, what I want to say quickly is this. You know, if I ask you, when did the church start? This is the Bible. I mean, the church. I know there was church in the wilderness, okay? Uh, now I'm talking of the New Testament church. When, if you're going to touch your Bible, so this is where I started. Where will you say? Acts, thank you very much. Some will say that, well, when Jesus said, breathe on them and he said, receive ye the Spirit, that's in the book of Luke, I guess, yeah? Yeah. He said that was when people began to be born again. Very likely, yes, 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 yes. And in fact, if, we, if, you, if you're trying to differentiate between the regenerated work of the Holy Spirit and of course the empowering, the enabling power of the Holy Spirit, you can say that was where the regeneration started. Otherwise, why will he breathe on them? I say, receive. The first breathing, the only breathing we have, we've known until then was when God breathed his, from his nostrils, breathed into their nostrils, remember? And we became living soul. And of course, we crashed out of it because, well, Sin came in the sin and we fell. And then thereafter, the next time we hear breathing was when Jesus said, After he resurrected, they receive ye the Holy Spirit. Fine. So, but the church itself, like we really see, like a corporate organization started in the book of Acts. That's what I want to really stress. I won't say too much because of my time, because I would like you to pray. I just give God the glory for what's happening. If you've not been joining the prayer, uh, prayer and fasting, come on, you've been missing. And that's the truth. Um, we do, I mean, we fast and then we pray 9 to 10 every day. And it's virtual, so it's convenient. It's easy for you. You can do it from your bed. You can do it from your kitchen, from your car, from your office. Hallelujah. But we're having a great time, I must tell you. Because it's not just common, just shanda. No, we shanda quite well. But I seem there are some tidbits that just came out of the, I'm sorry, that comes out from the Bible, man. Something that will carry you far. And I'm so grateful to God. And besides, everything we do is garnished with Thanksgiving, more than anything. And I, I just find it very refreshing. I get blessed particularly. I look forward to it. Acts in chapter 1. Glory be to God in the eyes. Just show you some things and then we just we go from there. I look forward to Thursday showers. What about you? Amen. I'm not used to giving what I say, die to but I try nowadays. So if I'm going to say anything, I say the church at prayers. If I'm going to give this any church at prayers. Um, Acts chapter 1, look at verse 14. Quickly, verse 14. Acts chapter 1, in verse 14. It says, these all continued, yep, with one accord, right, in prayer and supplication with the woman and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren, or with his brothers. Hallelujah. So, and where was this? This was the first thing that the Bible recorded of them after Jesus ascended. Because the paragraph that just ended was saying that Jesus ascended and then they returned to Jerusalem and they went to the upper room and they started enumerating the women that were there. Glory be to God. So the first major activity was that we were told that they continued. And what did they continue to do? They continued to what? Pray. Hallelujah. So, it would be right to say that the church started with prayers. Oh, no, no, no. The church, had, the church was yet to start, Pastor. It started on the day of Pentecost. You probably are right. But if you bear in mind that the church, I mean, that some form of regeneration, um, for regeneration, not just some form, regeneration has started long before then, when he said, receive ye the Spirit. So here, here, corporately, for the first time, the Bible said they gathered and they continued in prayer. Why would you use the word continued? Because that was what they were doing with Jesus. Oh, a lot of teaching, yes. But why would you use continued? Because that was the pattern. Somebody was talking about prayer. I said, Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer, which is true. So the church too started with prayer and the church we ended with prayers. Oh, yeah. So then what happens in, what happens in between? Keep on praying. That's where the continued thing comes in. Just keep on praying. 
So that's the much I want to pick from that verse. So I can quickly flip through some verses and we can, yeah, we can begin to wrap up. This up continued, yes, with one accord in prayer and supplication. And the women, I mean with the women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. Glory be to God in the highest. Now you can just have a good reading, just going down, then you get into chapter 2, as it were. And a lot of beautiful things happen in chapter 2, because why do I see it? When the day of Pentecost had come, uh, they were all with one accord, in one place, and uh, suddenly. But So in what atmosphere did the Holy Ghost come? Praying? Yeah. Yeah? Because they continued praying. You will observe that everything that happened to them came through prayers. You see, but they were in one accord. I want to believe strongly, and that's the truth, that the one, the one accord, one accord, the unity we find there uh, came out of um, <laughs> the sober prayer lives of the people. It's not natural for human beings to agree very easily. If you have two people, you have two opinions. If you have three people, you have three, and then politics begin because one will take one side or take the other side. Yeah? But always one accord. When you have a praying house, you find order. Believe in me. You find agreement. <laughs> Otherwise, you have individualism. You find pride and competition. That's natural. So the Bible said, one accord. And he said, but I do I one accord. And then suddenly, you see, the moment the fire of prayers begin to dwindle in a place, oof, trouble. And if the devil attacks anything in any congregation or any home, it's prayers. You decide today that you and all your siblings you want to be praying once a week or something like that. You discover that they fall on. Initially, you're like, wow, they fall on trouble. You can't pray. Husband and wife, you know why there's so much trouble there? Because <laughs> your oneness will always scare the devil. He hates unity. He hates unity. He likes disorder. Because his number one strategy is divide and rule. It makes you feel so offended that you must take it back. I mean, you must pay the person back. And the only way you can quickly punctuate that is to forgive. That's why forgiveness is available in the Bible. But usually what happens is that the person offended thinks that will be double, 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 double blow. I'm the one offended and the one to forgive. Her. No, you don't know, say it like that. Yeah. So you see one accord and one accord. And amazingly in that beginning of chapter 2, he said, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were all with one accord. Why? Because they were praying. That's why. That's why. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. We can go through, but I want to jump. I want to skip quickly. Yeah. Um, jump into verse 42 of that same chapter. In verse 42, oh, let me take from 40. Now, what had happened here was the Holy Ghost had come like the sound of a rushing mighty wind. And what happened? I mean, the tongues of fire set on every man's head. And so what the Holy Ghost did was that he came to introduce corporate you know, movement, corporate power. A corporate in the sense that you move together and not just you, you move together with heaven. You become, you know, an orchestra with heaven's glory and heaven's power. And you move. And yet, everybody is uniquely represented and uniquely known. Every contribution is marked. Because everybody now had a tongue of fire 
Malakasha. Everyone was powerful in, in his own right. Everyone could move. And yet, there was a kind of submission that linked all. Haven't you observed that while the church is not powerful, like it should be, like in a place like Nigeria, or in any country as it were, is individualism and division. And have you observed too that what we call civilization and modernization is trying to make independence of every individual? I mean, nowadays you can be living in number two and somebody's living in number three or number four, the next separated by war, and you may not know that person's name or what they do for years. The more you're able to do that, the more you are very, very Western, the more you are very civilized. But unfortunately, God did not create us for that. He says, so what are you saying? He created us to depend on him, number one, dependence on God, number two, to be interdependent. That does not mean that I will not allow your space or give you your space. No, 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 no. That doesn't mean rudeness. No, I will, I will not. Or you something. No. But for goodness sake, there's no place for independence. True. Okay, look at nations that get their independence, independence, which is good, and I'm glad we are independent of the colonial, you know. But at the end of the day, have you seen a nation that, nation rather, that just stands on its own and does everything they want and get everything they want and they don't need it? No, you must collaborate. You will dry up. I just felt the fire saying that. And that's why the book of Proverbs said that, look, 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 two, two is always better than one. And the three-foot cord cannot be easily broken. What makes it three? When the two know that, yes, we need each other. And what will bind us together is the power of the Almighty. That's such as the matter. We won't need to preach submission anywhere. The man will be very submissive, as it were, to the counsel of God in the relationship. And so is the woman. And so it's easy for the, woman, for the man to submit to his responsibilities in the union and the woman, hi, come on. Hallelujah. So 42 again. The Bible says, and with many other words, and testif I mean, he testified, yeah, he testified, and exhorted them, saying, be saved from this perverse generation. Uh, then those who gladly received this word were baptized, and watch this, and that day, and sorry, that day, about three thousand souls were added to them. Now forty-two. They grew astronomically. One message, one summer, one summer. One summer. But look at it. They came from the place of unity and prayers, which was acknowledged and endorsed by the Holy Spirit. So, yeah, if all he came out to do was just laughing and laughing, laughing out with the people, it, what happened would have happened. But no, he had to explain to them what was happening because they didn't understand. And that's the place of the word. 3,000. Things can be easier than we're having it. True. So when we say it's time to pray, that's not the time for you to say I'm running away. Ah, pastor, it's difficult. Really? We're not even asking you to fast and pray the whole month. Just five days. And where you have a medical condition that will not allow you to fast, no, 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 there's no hard and fast rule about it. But remember that we're in a period of prayer, so be in an attitude of prayers. So you can flow with us. Can you see it? What we're saying about the church here, we apply to your home and your marriage. We apply to your endeavor. We apply to your ministry. Glory be to God in the highest. 42 says, and they, come on, can somebody help me? And the what? Why 
they continue? What are they continuing? We'll see it again. <laughs> and they continue steadfastly. Now you see further qualification. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine, which is the apostles' teachings and instructions, and fellowship. Can you see that canon here? That's not independence. In the breaking of what? Bread. And in. Can you see it again? This was the church starting. Yeah. Let me stop. I can go on. Maybe I should bring it to a Sunday. Maybe I have to, I'll, I'll complete it on Sunday. God give him grace because we'll be praying in church too. I don't want us to go without praying. You see, in that place, they continued with prayers and supplication. You know what supplication means? That's where personal needs are brought out. And you wonder why he says prayers and supplication. It could have been mentioned in prayers, but there's a place for your personal needs. How can you, be, how can you constantly be in prayers and God will not attend to your person. It's not possible. It's not possible. So we're going to pray. If I will go a little further, you will see that everything, every virtue, expected of us, they experienced it like that. Wow. In addition, Signs and what Ishaka Tamborundiria. So I'm glad I'm here today. Aren't you glad you're here? And I'm glad that we're going to pray together. Aren't you glad? Why don't you stand up and give him praise? And give him honor. And let's start, let, let's start our prayers with that. Appreciating God and thanking him for life. Look at you. You're looking good. You're well dressed. Your beauty is appearing better. You're, I, mean, I never knew you're such an handsome man. Look at you. And you are healthy. Pastor doesn't know what I'm going through. But that, that, see, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm talking about. That thing we melt here today in Jesus' name. By the time you come next week, you have a testimony. See, see, see. You are, 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 I feel the fire. You are in a place where <laughs> the devil knows that it's always an encounter. So why don't you just thank God for life? Lift up your hands and give him praise. Come on, go ahead and worship him and bless him. The best way you know how to do it, if you're not too comfortable where you're standing, get on the aisle. You can run, on, you can run in front there, you can run behind, just feel free. Make sure that you are able to communicate freely with him. Just give him praise. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Give him praise. Give him praise. The psalmist says, I will bless you, Lord. Say, yes, I will, I will bless you, O Lord. I will bless you with a heart of thanksgiving. Come on, bless the Lord today. I will bless the Lord. Lift your voices in appreciation and, and worship. I will my hands lift. Yes, Makata Boro Le Boko Shunda La 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 Makato Le Brekish Kete Le Inde Boko Shunda Le Kanta Boko Shunda Let your voice be heard in heaven Malaka Shaka Da 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 Softly Come on, lift up your voices and bless him. You know, your thanksgiving blesses him. <laughs> your thank you, Father, blesses him. Hallelujah. Make it very soft, very soft, very soft. Yes, 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 yes. Give, yes. Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank him for your health. Softly, choir, softly, choir. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him honor. Worship him. Magnify his name. 
Thank him for your daughter. Thank him for your son. Hallelujah. Thank him for your troubled marriage. Come on, give him praise. There's a place for thanksgiving. Appreciate him. Hallelujah. You are alive. You are well. Glory be to God in the highest. Your children are doing well. Thank him for your provision, your finances. Come on, give him praise. Oh, yes, I know you are going to stop, but you are alive, you are well. You are here today. Come on, give him praise. Thank you for that. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. For every blessing, hallelujah. <laughs> for every healing, for every deliverance, for every lifting. Come on, give him praise. 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 Give him honor. Makasha talia. Leko topro koshkunda baba baba. For the Thursday showers. Ah, for a forum like this. Come on, thank him and worship him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Makasha katalaba. For that wonderful month of September. Come on, give him praise. Thank him for it. Hallelujah. Don't take it for granted. Maka, give him praise, give him praise. Maka, Shota, in the last quarter of the year, God has been wonderful. God has been faithful. Come on, worship him, bless him. Glory be to God in the highest. Glory be to God in the highest. Now you want to thank him for the, your pastor. You know, I know some of us are not from this church or from other churches. Come on, thank him for the set man, the set woman where you worship. Thank God for their lives and ask for more grace on their lives. Give God the glory and thank God for his word. At least that we share here and that we will share in your church. Come on, give him praise. Thank you for the presence of the Holy Ghost that we have been enjoying since we came in here. Thank you for all the pastors. Hallelujah. In our different churches. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you for the brethren. Hallelujah. Thank you for the body of Christ in this country. Come on, give him praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, take all the glory. Take all the glory. Take all the glory. Let it, let it come on. Let it flow from your heart to him. Let it flow. Oh, Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we, worship you. Father, we honor you. Take all the glory. Ha ha. Thank you for the salvation of your soul. <laughs> Thank him for the influence of the Holy Spirit and the pressure and the ministry of the pressure of the Holy Spirit. Thank him. Come on. Thank him for his power, his presence, his teaching. He's strengthening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, Father, we worship you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Do we have any reason to thank God for this country? I mean to thank God for Nigeria. Are you sure? You sure? Give me one reason. No, let, let me hear you. Oh, okay. That we are still together. We still have a place called Nigeria. Any other reason? I can hear you. That we still have the liberty to worship. We can come to church. With all that is happening and all we hear, we still come and we can worship. Let's thank God for Nigeria. We still have a country called Nigeria. We have a country called our own. Some countries are so devastated that the people are, they are running health as culture. They don't have any home base anywhere. God forbid in the name of Jesus. Let's thank God. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. As tough as it is, we still have the peace of God. As, I mean, with all the violence and everything, we still have the peace of God. We give him praise. We give him honor. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's worship him. Let's bless his holy name. For the church in Nigeria, let's thank the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank him in advance for what you know Nigeria will be. So I want to thank God because this time, coming here, Nigeria will be a better place. 
in the name of Jesus. Why should I pray that way? Because I trust him. Come on, thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for our educational sector. <laughs> At least there's still a place. I mean, there's still a sector called education. Hallelujah. Thank God for every sector of our economy. Even if they are coughing and they're about, they look like they're going to die, they will not die in the name of Jesus. Come on. Thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for Nigeria. Thank God for our leaders. Glory be to God in the highest. Say, Pastor, thank God for what? What have they done? Uh -huh. Let's thank God because the heart of kings are still in the hand of God. Is that right? So let's thank God because that privilege is still there. So we thank God for the heart of kings. Uh, we, which we know that God can turn in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We will not leave it to the devil. We will not leave it to the thinking of men. Uh, not what they desire. But what our God is. We thank God for God and Nigeria. We thank God for God in Nigeria. We give him praise. We give him honor. We trust him with our future. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Come on, thank God for the coming election. Because we, we will let the devil have it the way he's thinking. God will be glorified even in the election. Come on, thank God in advance. And begin to decree the peace of God and order even during the election in the name of Jesus. Thank God. For all the vices that we hear about kidnapping and harassment, trouble and corruption. We thank God because all these things we deserve appear in the name of Jesus uh, because God, they are not beyond God hallelujah we give God the glory because he is God in Nigeria so come on give him praise 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 give him honor thank God that you can still be here and you have the hope for a better Nigeria oh father we worship you we bless you we magnify your name in Jesus name we pray I want you to pray with your promise. There's a reason that we are given that promise this year, that you picked it. What I realize is this, we pick promises and we are, oh, we are come on, man, we are saturated with promises, man. There's the promise for the year. Can somebody give us the promise for the year? Quickly, 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 quickly. Yes, 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 yes. Our promise for the year, ever revealing glory. Yes, 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 sir. Yes, first, yes. First, first, first Corinthians. 318, hallelujah. First Corinthians 318, ever revealing glory. Can you flash it for us quickly? Quickly, 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 quickly. First Corinthians 318, glory be to God in the highest. I'm going to see that first Corinthians manifest in somebody's life. Amen. This year. Amen. And it'll be permanent forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If I'm going to I'm, uh, paraphrase it, that is, I'll begin to see God begins to glow in our life. You just see her glowing. Amen. You see, something is changing. Oh, yes. And something is changing. And it's not just superficial. It will be not just natural. It will be from inside out. Amen. Because God must take the glory now. Yes. And this verse will further glorify God than ever. Amen. That's the whole idea. Look at it again. But we all, hallelujah, with unveiled faces, there will be clarity. The eyes of understanding will be flooded with light. In the name of Jesus, with unveiled faces, <laughs> beholding us in a mirror, the glory, the glory, the glory of the Lord. You will see His glory. You will desire His glory. Oh yes, you from your inner being, glory be to God in the highest. Yeah, I remember that prayer. I said I will be strengthened with might in that man by the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. My, I, I desire this glory. Be, oh, I feel the fire. Come on, why don't you begin to declare it? Confess it. Make it personal. Make it personal. With unveiled faces, I will see. Marco Tora Bashaka, beholding us in the mirror, the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Ah, ah yes, Makashala Baba. Mada. And then constantly and continuously, my transformation will be. Marco Tolebesh Kata Prokoskutia. The Kete Keto Porokoskuta. Linda Braka Tora Baba. Ah, ah, which image? Becoming more, more like Jesus. Why should you live this year and not becoming more like Jesus? You'll be more like him than the way you were when you came in. Glory be to God in the high. Yes. Yes. I mean, from inside out, in the name of Jesus, from inside out, I mean, strengthening of your inner man. Glory be to God in the highest. Something will change. Something is changing. Declare it again and again and again. Over and over and over again. I declare it over the church. 
I declare it over your life, over your family. The eyes of your understanding will be flooded with light, so unveiled faces you behold, and is the glory of the Lord. And transformation, we have no choice. Yes, I receive in Jesus' name. I receive in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. Why should this year go? Just go by. No, 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 no. He gave it to me because something, ooh, because something must begin in my life that has never been before this year. The glory of the Lord will continue to ah, manifest. My transformation will be automatic. Glory be to God in the highest. We give him praise. We give him praise. Ooh, okay, fine. Give me the word for this month quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, quickly, put it there, have a cook. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Yes, 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 yes. On Sunday, majorly we'll be praying. It's our prayer week. Glory be to God in the highest. It's good to pray. Somebody just chant that. Go ahead. Come, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Come on, be confident. Be bold with it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. I see you in church on Sunday. Look at Habakkuk. Look at the promise for the month. We are, we t- we t- this is, we t- God gives us all this for a purpose. You know why? So that you can mount up. You can, get, you can shift up. Your growth is continuous. See, you see, the Lord God is my what? My strength. He will do what? Make my feet like that. Hey, go ahead. And it will make me walk on my heart. That means that where you are going is higher than where you are. Before the end of this week, you'll be walking at a higher level. In the name of Jesus. Why high speed? Because the high speed is, like, is the dear feet. So whatever the terrain, you are progressing. You skip your job. Nothing can stop you. I say you are going up. Open your mouth and declare. It's made my faith. And look, you know what led to it? He said, even if the friction will not blossom, even if everything dies and dries, and he said, ah, yet I will rejoice. He said, because he will make my feet like the highest feet. So the current circumstance will not stop you. In the name of Jesus, sir, come on, declare, declare, declare. Say, my feet are like hands feet, making them like hands feet. Sir. I will walk in my high places. I will run in my high places. Sir. In the name of Jesus, Makasha Katalara. Heads and no tails above only never beneath. Like Tobo Yababa, declare for the Phantom of Life Church. Makataka Shakataba, unstoppable. Matin Tete Teporoko Shitia, Likata Brokos Kote Brekish Kataba, Lanka Tobo Koshata, Lete Teporoko Skuta, the Lord God. God is my strength. It will make my feet like the high street. It will cause me to walk in my high places. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, now, just before we share the grace, what about your personal promise for the year? See, if these are only the only three scriptures you wake up every morning and you look again, you study and you pray over, something will happen. It's the word of God. Sometimes you don't need to look for a new revelation. In fact, most of the time, you don't need it. Let new revelation come when God thinks you need a new one. Stay with the one you know and come on. Hey, meditate on it. Now you know your own personal promises. I'll give you two minutes now because I'm going to close. And be bold with it. Don't be too quiet. I'm not saying silent prayers. Glory be to God in the highest. Jesus, come on. Jesus, come Father, we worship you. 
leka poroko sonde privi ke shindia aranda poko to proka shanda preka sonde privi ke shindia lanta poko sonde de preka sada ya kaka shota matam roko skudia nende ke taba ko tumbri kashkata makata ka runde bashata thank you jesus father we worship you we magnify your name in jesus name we pray before we go i want to just thank god for this showers just thank god thank god for prayers that he has answered on your behalf thank god because you are returning with testimonies thank god because you've received grace to continue oh hallelujah just give him praise give him praise give him praise thank you for answers to all the prayers you've offered this morning come and worship him worship him bless him bless him bless him hallelujah take all the glory lord 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 in jesus name we pray hallelujah i'm glad you came to church and i quickly remind you you are special in the hand of god and i'm not just saying it because i have nothing to say it's what i've settled with god to let you know even in the darkest period of your life god loves you specially even where you have deliberately caused yourself the trouble, he still loves you. You rather you identify his love in your trouble and see him pull you out. He loves you. If you forget anything, don't forget, don't forget that, that Jesus loves me. These for the bad. To him below. No matter how intimidated you may be, they are weak. Can I hear you declare? Yes, Jesus. He loves you and he loves me. Yes, Jesus. He loves me. He loves me. Yes. Jesus. Go with this understanding. You are the special eye of God. You are the apple of his eyes. He cares so much for you. He loves you. So you have a great weekend in Jesus' name. And have a great service on Sunday in your churches in Jesus' name. Amen. And I love you too. Amen. Hallelujah. Just to remind us, we have evangelism. We are going out on the streets on Saturday. This is from Pastor Beardo Shuja coordinating the team. So please, we'll start here. The time here from here start off it's 9 a.m right from the compound of the church so we hope to see you you will really be glad that you joined them god bless you the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the presence of the lord forever and ever Amen. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And so sin shall not have dominion over us because this, oh yes, 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 that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of us and he quickens our mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Amen. God bless you. <laughs>